Good morning and welcome back to the Perkins Garages YouTube channel for another walk around video. Today we're taking a closer look at this Tiger Eye Ford EcoSport ST line featuring the 1 litre EcoBoost engine that's producing 125 PS of power. That 125 PS of power is then transmitted through a lovely automatic gearbox. The vehicle itself has done just over 20,000 miles now, but is in fantastic condition and we have some amazing specification all the way around the vehicle. So let's begin at the front like always. Unfortunately, you're going to get some shadows today because it is late January, so the, the, the shadows cast long, nice and early. So then first off, the remote central locking out my pocket unlock the vehicle and that is going to wake up the LED daytime running lights the bit that appear to be flashing in your video currently that is simply because the frequency in which the video is recorded at but in real life they look incredible just below them we have some front fog lights and front parking sensors and they trail all the way around the front bumper until we get to the lovely machine cut alloy wheels these are 18 inches in diameter and they're in lovely condition they are fitted also with some Pirelli tyres all the way around, who again are in great condition as well, so you've got plenty of life left on those yet. On the front wing you can see some lovely ST line badging, and that takes us nicely to the uh, driver's door. When we have specification, part of the driver assistance pack, such as blind spot assist. So if someone was in your blind spot on the near side or on the off side of the vehicle, you'll get orange illumination to say it's unsafe to pull in or out. So we're going to arrive at the offside rear now, and what we're going to do is we are going to go from the top all the way to the bottom, showing you just the wonderful condition of this Eco Sport. And we'll end up side rear wheel. Like so we're going to make our way around the rear of the vehicle now where we can see rear parking sensors and we also have the rear camera tucked up just below the Ford badge. We'll go inside the boot in a minute but before we do so we're going to come around and do the near side of the vehicle. I'm a massive fan of this Tiger eye colour. It looks glorious. It's like a as well. so you can see where it stops halfway and we've got the gloss black all the way throughout the roof. And that is twinned obviously with the rear privacy glass as well and it really does look a really smart outfit but we're going to make our way down the vehicle again trying to get you some nice seductive angles so we're just going to shimmy our way down the near side of the vehicle and we'll go to the near side rear wheel and we'll end up at the near side front wheel again as you can see we've got pirelli tires on every corner Okay, let's go round and have a look inside the boot now. So the unique point of these Eco Sports is the boot. So it opens horizontally, if you like. So instead of vertically opening, we've got a horizontally opening rear tailgate. So it's fantastic if you go straight into spaces and it's nice and easy to load up the boot. Once again, we do have a lovely dual level style rear boot there. So you can clip it in and give yourself extra storage underneath the cover pull this out and you can put it in a lower position and that is going to enable you to have a high volume if I just pull this cover back under there we do have a tyre sealing kit and a compressor to keep you going in the right direction I'll pop that back down again like so we'll go look inside the vehicle now hopefully it's a little bit less windy inside blowing a gale as my nanny would say Right, so now we're looking inside the vehicle and we've got the classic ST line seating. So it's half leather, half suede, and it's all defined by some gorgeous red stitching all the way around. This really is the signature ST line interior. So we have three seats in the back there and the N2 are ISO fixings. So if you do have those small little children that require a baby, you clip them in and keep them nice and secure whilst you're on your journeys. We do also have a nice 12 volt socket down here as well, so you can keep things charged up. This Eco Sport already comes with line ST line mats in there as well. We've got some nice strikes on there, thanks to the valeters. Um, okay, we're going to shut the door now. Now we're going to have a look inside the vehicle. As you can see, I've tried to improve myself 
as much as possible. Before I jump in, we have the BNO sound system on this one as well, so crisp sound system. If you're into your music, it really is top, top quality. Give you a quick view of the driver's seat before I jump in, but again, half suede, half leather, and again, we've got some gorgeous red stitching all the way around. Manually adjustable driver's seat here, so you've got some uh, lumbar support at the front, followed by a height adjustment, a rear tilt, obviously a forward and backwards as well. Okie dokie. I have a keyless engine start stop button. So I pop my foot on the brake, as you can see, the light goes green, push the button, and that will then start the engine. Bear with me a second whilst I just remove my hood and get myself in a bit more of a comfortable position. I'm just going to turn down the radio, then we're going to begin with a tour. Turn on the fans as well. There we are, apologies about that. Okay, so let's have a look at the driver display. So as you can see at the top, 20,069 miles is the exact number on the dashboard there. Just lower the brightness down for you. The left hand side we have the conventional RPM gauge and to the right we have a speedo. The bottom two gauges is the coolant temperature sensor and a fuel gauge. Being an automatic vehicle, we do have a gear selector indicator there as well. So you can see the park, reverse, neutral drive and sport. Up in the middle bit, this is a digital driver display. So if I just zoom into that and take it into focus, we can control that using the arrows on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. So we can go through such as settings, and I wanted to just show you quickly the driver assistance. We've got cross traffic alert and blind spot assist. So two key bits of driver assistance software, different vehicle settings in there as well. So you can adjust it however you please. The display, again, very customizable. You can change all the units and things like that and you can also have my view as well so if you come out of there and go into different trip computers in my view here once again click on the menu and you can customize it however you please so if you like a digital speedo you can have that on there as well we do have a lovely sync module in this vehicle uh, with navigation so once you program your navigation into there you can have the directions appear in front of you as well different media phone connectivity and we're back to the settings once more so that's a little guide around the driver display. If I was to just zoom out once more, and I can show you around the steering wheel. We have some beautiful flappy paddles as part of the automatic transmission. So if you were feeling sporty, pop into sport mode, and you have full control of the gears on the steering wheel. So it's semi-automatic, if you like. The right-hand side of the steering wheel is where we'll find all of your media controls, such as pick up and decline phone call, along with a plus and a minus volume button. The one in the middle is the most important for me, so let me link that up to the sync module. So if I was to click on settings, and I'll scroll to the left, we have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto available on this vehicle. So if you plug your phone in using the USB data ports down there, it will fully transfer all of the software on your phone and it will mirror it onto the sync module. My favourite thing, as I just referred to, is the voice command button. With my iPhone plugged in, Apple CarPlay, I can use that as a Siri activator. And Siri will quite literally do anything I ask. Call home, take me home, play Robbie Williams, anything you fancy, it can be transpired onto that screen and it's all hands-free. So keep your mobile out of your hand whilst you're driving along and it's obviously going to improve road safety. So it's uh, pivotal in today's world. If I was just to click, right, let me change the camera so you don't see the complete entirety of my hand. This is the home screen of the module and it gives you a split between navigation, media and your phone if it was connected. But for example, if I was to go into the navigation, nice crisp and clear navigation, nice and easy to find where you need to go, search for your addresses again. Uh, for example, Perkins Garages, Charlie Mike, 776 Sierra Alpha, click on the search like so it's just obviously directing us to where we are now but you can see how easy and responsive that screen is to use so let's just come out there once more and go back to the home page because it has the bno sound system we can actually adjust all of your sound settings i mean this is too advanced for me I, you know bass i'd turn that up because i think i'm cool but i'm sure lots of people have more idea than myself about that I have a little parade of buttons down here as well. So my favourite thing is when I'm driving at night time, I don't really like the screen on. So you click the button once, the screen will turn off. 
one tap you wake it back up again so it's nice and simple and it is user friendly because as I say if you don't like the glare at night time you want to concentrate you can turn the screen off by a touch of a button and I am a really big fan of that before we progress away from the media of this vehicle to, to match the BNO sound system we do have this old thing over here which is called a CD player they are discs with music on them you pop them in that slot there and it plays music so if you did a uh, pop your CD album up into the loft thinking you might not need it again oh no get it out and let's have a party just below the sink module we do have your heating ventilation and air conditioning controls left hand side is your fan speed the right hand side is your digital readout of the temperature of the vehicle so it's nice and accurate to set the temperature just as you like 19.5 is fine for me at the top we have two uh, mist defunctions, front screen, recirculation, air conditioning, automatic function as well. And in the summertime, my favourite, the max air conditioning. Get in it, click the max air conditioning, and it makes you cool nice and quickly. Obviously, at the moment, we're in January, so you're going to take advantage of the two heated front seats, a heated screen as well, so that will defrost your screen nice and quickly. But a favourite one is your heated steering wheel. That will keep your fingers and your hands nice and warm on those frosty mornings. That is a dream. So let me just move the shifter out of the way. We do have a few buttons down here. And one's going to be for your parking sensors. On the topic of parking sensors, if I was to look up to the sync module once more, we do have a rear reversing camera. To the right hand side as you can see there we do have the proximity sensors for the front and the rear parking sensors so you're going to get the beep which will increase in intensity as you're getting closer or further from your object obviously in the middle we have the lovely park assist rear camera so it's going to help you navigate in and out of all those tight spaces Back down to the buttons, we have one other button for traction control, and we have another button for the automated stop-start feature. This is the gear selector itself, park, reverse, neutral, drive, and sport. So sport will hold the transmission a bit longer before changing up and giving you a sportier sensation. So it depends whether you want to be economical or drive it a little bit faster and take advantage of the flappy paddles it's completely up to you but these are really lovely vehicles to drive actually they've got a fantastic balance and uh, they're very very nippy because you've got the uh, 125 ps eco boost engine manual handbrake some nice deep filling cup holders as well so you've got somewhere to be drink which for me is essential before we go i'm just going to give you a quick view of the driver's seat and you can, uh, the passenger seat beg your pardon and we can see the fantastic quality of the leather and the suede all the way around and I'm a massive fan of this red stitching I think it looks glorious what I'm going to leave you with is the panoramic glass opening roof so as you can see we have the controls for it there and it's open already so we've got a nice breeze coming through and that is a one touch system and that closes up like so then we do have a nice blind to shut it all up if you don't want the light Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did have any other questions about this vehicle or any other vehicle at Perkins Garages, please do give one of the sales team a call. The number you need for that is 01376 550 899. Thank you very much and I'll speak with you soon.